Before turning it over to Senator Black, in your comments, which have been just fascinating, you've made reference to uh, the fact that one of the great motivators to you personally in getting involved in this is the technology that it's going to bring to people that don't have it today, and I think you use the term, it will empower billions around the world. Uh, if I am correct, I believe uh, Mr. Gates, in his uh, charitable giving in Africa, is making use of a digital currency called M-Pesa. Correct. Could you just expand a little on what you see uh, the impact or the implications of uh, Bitcoin or M-Pesa or digital currency in general will have in terms of <coughs> Africa? Absolutely. M-Pesa is a fascinating study for those of us who are interested in digital currencies. Uh, because it has shown what is possible when low friction digital money is introduced into an environment without the need for massive infrastructure, an environment that doesn't have banking services well developed. And PESA was started as an experiment that allowed individuals to transfer cell phone minutes uh, amongst themselves and their families um, by a telecom provider in Kenya. I imagine the moment uh, this became a currency was a very mundane moment, uh, such as, for example, a customer arriving at a store and realizing they didn't have sufficient money to buy a dozen eggs, and saying, well, can I give you a couple of cell phone minutes instead? And with that simple concept, a currency is born. What's fascinating about M-Pesa is we roll forward just 12 years, and M-Pesa is now responsible for 40% of the GDP of Kenya. That is a staggering amount, um, and it represents the adoption of what was largely an underground cash-based economy, and one that was uh, illiquid, inflexible, and very slow to operate, and turbocharging that by providing enormous liquidity and fluidity into the uh, economic system. At the moment, Bitcoin is not ready to be adopted easily on the most deployed platform in the world, which is a Nokia feature phone, the Nokia 1000, of which there exist billions. And, uh, so it requires a bit more infrastructure than that. But gradually, we see two trends converging. One is that Bitcoin is being applied on simpler and simpler technology, and we already see its use through SMS text messaging. The other one is the collapse in the cost of producing smartphones, with the Android approaching $25. There are already applications of the Bitcoin space that would allow a single Android phone to support thousands of uh, simple SMS customers and give them Bitcoin wallets, which would allow essentially a young kid in Lagos, Nigeria, to buy an Android smartphone and become a bank, serving thousands of customers, simultaneously giving them access to the equivalent of a Western Union terminal, a credit facility for buying loans, as well as a trading facility for all of the world's markets, uh, and this off a simple Android phone and SMS feature phones. And PESA shows us that it is possible. Uh, Bitcoin now makes that phenomenon global. And when we talk about the unbanked, the World Bank estimates that two and a half billion people are completely unbanked, living in cash-based societies. However, that vastly underestimates the problem, because uh, if you look at the types of banking facilities we have in the Western world, the ability that I have to access a brokerage account with, with access to any of the international markets, to convert any currency I want without controls, to transmit money to any country in the world I want, um, again, with very little controls, and to use it as a simple consumer, is very, very, very far removed from what most people have. And so, if you look at the unbanked as those who have a single currency only, closed account that doesn't have access to international markets, credit, or trading capabilities, more than six billion people in the world live with that kind of banking. And two and a half billion of them are completely unbanked. Bitcoin can change that environment dramatically in less than a decade. Thank you.